Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Now today in this video I will I'm going to introduce you with a new simulator Simul ID. So let us start by visiting the website of that software. So open the browser and type www.simulid.com. This is the home page and it gives you the basic introduction about the software. So it is a real time electronic circuit simulator which we can use for implementing simple electronic circuits and also some complicated circuits that uses microcontrollers like PIC, AVR and Arduino. So for downloading just go to the downloads tab and depending on your operating system download the version. Once you open the software, you will have a view like this. Now on the left hand side, you can see there are multiple components available. So we will go one by one. So first we have the meters. Under the meters tab, there are multiple meters are available like probe, voltmeter, ampere meter, frequency meter, oscilloscope, logic analyzer. Under the sources tab, you can have multiple input sources like voltage source, current source, clock, fixed voltage, rail, ground, etc. Then next we have switches. So we have momentarily push switch, the permanent connection of switch like then we have DIP switch, relays and keypad. Under the passive components, we have resistor, capacitor and inductors. Under the active components, we have diode, op-amps, MOSFET, BJD, etc. As far as the outputs are concerned, we can use LEDs, displays and motors. For microcontrollers tab, there are multiple uh, microcontrollers available. Starting with PIC, we can go from 10F to 18F family. For AVR, we have 80, 80 Tiny and Atmega. There are few multi Arduino boards are also available. So we have Arduino Uno, Mega Nano, the one which are famous. And there are few sensors which are already available or included in this particular setup. Followed by this, there comes the logic. This is where you, you will find commonly used the logic gates. So we have the IC74 series, then memory, converter, arithmetic gates, etc. So to, in this today's introductory lecture, we will take a simple example of a, an LED controlled by a switch. So let us start with the design. First of all, you have to add the rail and ground for your design followed by switches. So we will use a push switch to control the LED. Then under the passive components, we will add the resistor. And for generating the output, I will use a simple LED. Now, once the components are added to this workspace, let's connect them together. Now, the properties of each component can be modified simply by right clicking on it. So, later once your design is over, you can modify the design or you can modify each and every component just by right clicking on it. So let us take an example of this simple LED. After you right click on it, go to the properties and under the properties there are multiple uh, elements or the properties that can be modified. So you can have an LED ID, you can use the show ID so the name can be shown on this particular schematic. Then the color, the light your LED emits when it turns on. Then you can have the threshold voltages, maximum current, resistance and the grounding which is required or not. Okay. So for example, I will change the color from yellow to green. So just double click on this value and under the drop down menu, select the green, close the window and save this circuit. So just click on this save circuit or you can press the controllers. If not saved or if this is the first design, you will be asked to 
save the path or the circuit to a particular path and then the circuit that you are going to save will have a dot extension of SIMU, CMU. So once saved, just power it on, so power the circuit, click on the button power circuit and the simulation will start. Now to turn the LED on, I will push this particular button. So after clicking on the button, you can see the LED turns on and as long as the button is pressed, the LED will continue to emit the light. The moment I release the button, LED turns on. So this is a simple example of how we can make use of Simul IDE tool for simulating simple electronic circuits. In the coming videos, we will cover most of the digital and analog circuits and we will go in detail analysis of each and every circuit. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you.